Hey YouTube, this is Tiffmec9, and today I'm going to be showing you how to root your Samsung Galaxy S2 T989 phone, alright, for T-Mobile. This is a very easy process, and I just want to let you know this is the new method, alright? There is an older method, but this is a new and improved method, so it's a lot easier. So, let's just get started. Um, make sure you have Samsung keys installed. That's how the icon looks like, Samsung keys. And make sure you download this file. Both of the both of these files will be located in the description for the download link. So we're just gonna extract this file. All right, got all four out. Let's move it right here so you can see it more easily. All right, you can see all that. Guys, zip file Odin, Odin, and recovery. All right. So now we're gonna be entering into download mode. So plug or plug in your phone from micro USB and plug in the USB port. All right, plug this in to your computer. All right, it doesn't matter if your phone is turned off, turned on, or whatever it's doing. <clears throat> Hold on to the volume up, volume down, and power button all at the same time. And when you feel vibration, let go of the power button, but keep holding on to the volume up and volume down. And this will work for ice cream sandwich and gingerbread, alright? Any any version so far. Uh, press the volume up to continue. Alright, now you can set your phone aside. And now we'll be dealing with the computer. You want to right click on Odin. Let's right click. And you want to run, run as admin. Choose yes. Alright, you'll be here now. Um, don't mind that it says Epic 4G. That doesn't matter. It will work for any. It will work for our phone, so it doesn't matter. Now, make sure you have this yellow bar here. If you don't have the yellow bar, that means you don't have the correct drivers installed, and that means you don't have Samsung keys installed. So, download Samsung keys, open Samsung keys, make sure it recognizes your phone and all that stuff. All right. So after you got that done, make sure only auto reboot is checkmarked. Nothing else here. Nothing else. And now you will click on PDA. And you want to open that tar file. <coughs> this file that you downloaded in that file. Alright, you just want to select that one. Click open. And you want to choose start. And now you want to wait. And you can see this is the status. It's all done. And it's rebooting right now, as you can see. Let's give it a few seconds. There we go. It's rebooting. Alright, and you'll hear the boot up animation and sound. Alright, so that while that's booting up, <coughs> I'll tell you what to do next. So you can just close this out, you can close out Odin, and now you will have this other file, a zip file. You can see right there. Right there, it's a zip file. Alright, it's booted up. So you want to um, enter, let me zoom out. Alright, so you want to do enter into the USB storage. So you want to connect. Alright. Alright, you got it connected. So you can just set that aside. Everything opens, all the hard drives. Just close it out. And you want to transfer it to your external SD card. So I'm just going to go on my computer so you can see it easier. And one says 11.2, that's my internal, and my external is 7.38. You should know which one you have. So it's my external, make sure it's external. And you want to transfer that zip file, the clockwork mod. Alright, the super use. Alright, to your external. So just transfer that. Alright, it's transferred. Close it out. Unplug your phone. And now we're gonna, going to be entering into Clockwork Mod Recovery Mode and install the root super user file. Alright, so hold on all three, like again, make sure it's unplugged this time. All three, when you feel vibration, let go of the power, but keep allowing the volume up and volume down button. Alright, felt vibration, let go of the power, keep holding the volume buttons.
Alright, we're almost done. Navigate using the volume up and volume down and selecting an item using the power. So go all the way down to install zip from SD card. You can go choose zip from SD card. And then you want to go all the way down until you find the file that you transferred. This file that you transferred to your phone. So I'm going to go all the way down until I find it. It's right here. Right there. So I'm going to select that one. Go all the way down to yes. Select it. And wait until this is done. Alright, it finished. It said install from SD card complete. You want to go back. Oh, sorry about the drop phone. Alright, so you're going to go to reboot system now. You can wait for a reboot. You know, it doesn't take that long at all. And after this, we're going to find the application called Super SU. And we're going to open that up. So at this point, currently, you are rooted, alright? I just want to show you that you're rooted. And if you want to try out your own, you can try like Titanium Backup or anything like that. That will show you if you have Super User Access and Super User Access is root. Alright, let's wait for it to load up. There we go. Alright, so loading up the apps. There we go. Um, you're gonna find Super SU, so here's Super SU. So make sure your Wi Fi is turned on, it'll ask you to update it. It won't ask me to update it because I already did it once to test it. And you can see that um, you have everything here. And I'm just going to install Super User to show you that you get Super User access. So let's go to Google Play Store. Right there. Go download it. Installed it. All right, we're gonna open it up, and I'm gonna show you the super user access. So I'm just gonna update the SU binary. So I'm gonna tap on that, tap update. And it's gonna ask me to allow or deny. I'm gonna grant it, and that's how you get root access. And that's showing you that your phone is rooted. All right, so now you can go to Titanium Backup or anything like that, or set CPU, and you can get root access. So thanks for watching, guys. Don't forget to check out my new website that has all the written or visuals and written parts for all my videos so far. And I'll be making more and I'll have tips and news and everything like that there too. So don't forget to check that out and don't forget to rate, comment, and subscribe. Thanks guys.